Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Lobotomy Corporation where in this day we're going to be continuing on trying to do the timed missions that Chess said, I, if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, is going to do. But first, or the mission he wants us to do, not the mission he's going to do, whatever I talk about, I'm essentially talking about what I'm trying to say. Anyway, um, but first, let's... let's Savior, that isn't that like a Savior? That's like the name of an X Men character, like the guy with the psychic powers in the wheelchair, right? I think it was like Professor Xavier or something, right? The leader of the X Men, or am I wrong? Because I'll be completely honest, I don't know that much about the X Men. Yo, I kind of like that. Are you serious? I'm like one point short. I guess I'll put you there and I'll try to figure out how to level you up in the meantime. Perfect. You get good stats. Whatever, I'm putting you there. You can go here. Okay, white, red, white, red. I'm definitely giving you this. And But no, I... I want... No, I you can keep that. White... White, red, black, red... No, it's fair, or fair. I'll give you that. Right, right. Wait, white damage, white damage, white damage. Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want. Okay, that looks good to me. Let's get the guy's suits. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. And okay, wasting enough time here. Okay, seven minutes.
Wait, who needs the... You know what? As long as I'm not stupid, or, or forgetful, like, and forget like I did last time, um, I'll, I think I could be relatively fine to sign it. Sign them there. I don't think it. Where'd you get the goggles? <laughs> I just, I just realized the character's wearing goggles. <laughs> Where'd you get that? I don't, I didn't remember. Green Andromeda that gave out the goggles. <laughs> just looking at the Andromeda, it just immediately gives me the answer. Can work that the spider this character can do the health form pression on the beast and sight on the vending machine pression on the robot insight on the bird repress the static and attach yourself to the skull Where'd the music go? Okay, the worms and the burrowing heaven. Repress the child. Okay, attach a word on the child. I completely forgot I was doing the mission, I was starting taking my time. Oh my god.
I just realized. This is a character that I sent to work on a child. And I completely forgot. Because that's a really bad habit. I don't know how I avoid that problem, but a crisis has been averted. Uh, for real though, like legitimately. I guess inside on the monk, another health on the on Luna, the piano woman. Attachment on the dimensional ghost or whatever it is. Instinct on the worm. Wait, there's a worm even like that. Probably the best one so far. Insight on the sleigh. Okay, skull, static, insight work, more insight work on the beast, instinct on, oppression is, I think I got everything. Ah. The ghost and the worms and the sap which I can safely ignore. This might be a bit of a rush. Two minutes left. serious are you serious dude get out of there
I don't even know what happened! Like, as soon as the meltdown, the little, as soon as the little noon event happens, two abnormalities just instantly break out! What the hell even is that? I don't, un I know that there's gotta be something, but I am, I just do not understand the correlation between in time of day event happens, two serious abnormalities just break out. No warning, no condition. Okay. I hope you don't mind. I really want, like, if this abnormality, he has some kind of instant breakout condition related to another. I want to know what it is. So I hope you're willing to forgive me if I take a second to Google it. Yeah. I think I got one of them before, like, there's some kind of yin and yang based abnormalities or something in the game. I think I got at least one of them. Oh, right. It makes sense for him to be connected to uh, yin and yang, yang based based abnormality because, because he's, he's some kind of. Asian culture themed, an Asian culture monk or whatever. I apologize if I'm getting it wrong, but anyway. I know it's not really relevant because because we don't have that in the mountain, but it just it just bugs me. He went the game just that's just I'm. That's just an unnecessary complication. Like, there's no real point going to that length to, to like, confuse the player. Or at least it's confusing to players that haven't memorized the, uh... That haven't memorized the... The little... Code names of like of all the abnormalities in the game, or designation numbers, whatever you want to call them. Like by the time we're remembering the number would become relevant, it is when I'm choosing an abnormality or so, and like it would be. Unless you got a photographic memory or you got the numbers written down on a piece of paper, you wouldn't know which designation number would, would be the same one that... Unless you got like a photographic memory written down or otherwise just have a, a memory that's a lot better than mine, let's just say that. I'm like... Is this game really asking too much of the player to remember like a designation ever like that, or am I just making excuses for a bad memory? Like it could just, like it could just be on me. I'll, I'll fully be on and instead admit that it could just be me be trying to like, like talking from the point of view of someone who usually has a bad memory for this kind of stuff. So could just be me. I'll say that right now. It could just be me. Okay. 
Okay, uh... Run the result pass. <laughs> kind of forgot the fast war things there. Are you for real? What happened? I... What just happened? Where'd the person disappear to? What? I'm gonna make one more attempt. Um, then if this next try doesn't work. I'm. If this next, if this third time isn't work, I'm gonna make a cut and come back to it another time. Depression and attachment. Wait, I'm just wanting to just come with. Yeah, a little. Get close to line. Speed plus one, move plus one, attack and speed. Alright, I was just curious. I just realized something. Is. Mount of Smiling Bodies is supposed to be made of, of like, rotting corpses fused together, right? Like, is the little costume that the character's wearing here, like, like, is it, like, synthetic, or is it supposed, like, is it a syn synthetic copy of the, um, maybe that's, that's supposed to just look like the abnormality, or is it supposed to be, like, made from the abnormality itself, because, is that supposed to be... made from the abnormality itself or something, then is that supposed to imply that the character's wearing dead necrotic skin for a suit? And likewise, does that mean that the the weapon, the hammer weapon itself is also like made of dead necrotic skin? Or is it just synthetic and meant to just look like that? Does that actually You know, 
going to Lobotomy Corporation, I wouldn't be surprised if it was actually made from Dead Necrotic Soul. That sounds like something a Lobotomy Corporation would do. I wouldn't be surprised if it actually made it. That sounds like something like the game world would do. Or something that sound accurate to the game world. Part of what makes me figure that it's probably like made from the dead necrotic skin is because I read the little description for the armor you get from the naked nest here and like part of its description kind of sounds like or like describes the um, the armor as being like slimy or so which kind of implies that like kind of implies that's like made from like whatever. Clean it all up.
assassin work with you. Insight on the spider. Professional work on the demon guy. Insight work on the beast. Instinct on the murderer. Maris inside or her whatever with the uh, vending machine, her repression on, on the robot, repressed static, whatever on the skull. As long as no one dies, I don't care if punishment group breaks out or not. I know that's not an option I'm able to turn off, but every time punishing bird breaks out, punishing bird breaks out. There's only so many times you can hear that before it's like, okay, and I'll be more concerned when I'm looking at a dead body. I'm not going to interact with the armor. You know, I'm just gonna cut it short. Perfect. Ah. Perfect. Agony rage right, explained again. Full expanded. We don't have any other choice, so...
Wait, what's... Ah, the Snow Queen. I almost feel like we missed something, like, wasn't there supposed to be... Clear... Ah. Oh. Are you for real? Oh wait, core suppression, I just noticed that. Basically, doing all of of um, Jabura's missions as well. Frustration on the body. No one's gonna want to sit here and listen to me grow and moan. People just want to see me advance in the game. Okay, so I think I might want to make a cut here anyway because. Because even if I was in a position to be able to reasonably suppress it's um nothing there. The I'm so I the condition says three different ones. I can't just found the same one or two three different I can't just found a one three different times. It has to be three different ones. So I need to get two more out of them out of the valleys. So I guess I'll have to come back when and I'm able to do something, so... Well, I guess I'll see you then. Alright, so I'm back here, and... What I find particularly odd is that... This, what I... In, um, this selection of abnormalities... Or abnormality, singular... Or is... Is weird by itself in the fact that... I only have one option. Literally this one here by itself. I don't understand why I don't have three options. I only have this one option by itself. But it reads, however, the world is more than simply warmth and light. Are you serious? Are you s I don't know if you guys- if that was caught in the recording, but like... But my game almost crashed, or whatever. Like it- luckily I got- I got lucky and I was able to wait it out, still. I don't know what this tool abnormality is. But I do know that, um, here's my selection here, uh, where I got... I've got the yin abnormality here, which... The black pendant is darker than any other shade of black, more obscure than the world, employee shouldn't touch her 
possess the pendant, we are looking at it makes someone feel as if darkness came into their heart. Seeing that this pendant is originally made up, beat up a circle, originally made up a circle, however, is now separated from its other half. Many employees call it the Devil's Pendant. Some say you just look at it will fill you, fill up your mind with negativity. The employees dislike being anywhere, being anywhere near the thing. After all, it was the polar opposite of its other half. Many would let out similar complaints that all end with the same remark. We wish only the white one. Its surrounding, the surroundings erode those who suffer. This wasn't a result of Penn's own volition. And though those things only happen because of its aura it exudes, then it must wonder, why do I exist? If my very existence corrodes my surroundings, then being suffering and bring suffering and darkness to those who interact with me, maybe I shouldn't have been born at all, just like they say. Maybe my career only wanted to make up the white pendant, and, and I'm just an unintentional accident. If so, how could such an impure being disappear from this world? One day, the black pendant heard a call. Now, the day has come. It's, it is time for us to reunite. The black pendant left the pit. It thought it would never leave. It found itself swimming away. Everything in past turned to ruin. Destruction went is by instinct. It wasn't something that could be stopped, nor could it be hidden. It could see the white pendant. No, it could see the, the part of itself that hadn't been for a long, long time. The two opposites are swimming toward each other. For the first time ever, the black pendant felt the meaning of it in its existence. We used to be one. I am, thus you are. You are, and thus I am. We were originally together. It was a fruitless deed to divide us. Now you become the sky, and I the land. An employee who, who had a face colored with cheerful eyes began to grimace just at their sudden burst of sadness. An employee who was quietly crying, having their heart broken, dried her tears. An employee who was dragging along their broken like suddenly stood up, stood up straight as if they always could. Okay, I do not like the implication of that. Like, did they try standing on the broken leg and didn't react to that? Did the leg? Are you implying that the, the leg just instantly healed like it was never broken in the first place? How am I supposed to interpret that sentence? Or am I just thinking about... Or am I just playing too much... When I'm thinking about too much? Anyway, an employee who was on their allowance suddenly fainted, bleeding from every place imaginable. At the end, circles back to the beginning. Those who held hope are met with despair. Those who held despair are met with hope. At the end of the... Be Beginning, the dragon, which now became a great avatar, soared through the sky. It sounds almost like, if I'm interpreting this, this section correctly here, it sounds almost like it's the, the despair and the hope are being traded with each other. Like, a miserable person suddenly becoming happy inexplicably, and at the same time, a perfectly fine person in a good mood suddenly becomes miserable. An injured person inexplicably be healing as though they were never injured in the first place. A perfectly healthy and at the same time, a perfectly a healthy a person suddenly collapsing and bleeding like they're severely be injured from inexplicably received injuries that came out that just suddenly appeared on the person's body. Like, what the heck? Uh, how do 
thing I want. Oh wait. I I was thinking of like big um how I can go about leveling people up, but like that's good. You're good. 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 Wait. Wait, hold on. Is anyone? No, I think I'm gonna trade places with the two. Good. He's good, so you can go here. I'll put you over here. Good. I know you're good. You're good up in there. Okay, I think everything's good, so... I think I'll do that, I just, uh, then I'll exclusively focus on leveling Bingo. her up to him. Okay, it's a black weapon. I'll do that. Alright, let's see our new little abnormality here. Ooh. Ooh, that's a big oof right there. Ooh, that's a big freaking yikes from me, dog. Oh man, I... Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, how boned am I? It's like, how screwed am I? Don't worry, don't worry. You'll get used to it in no time. Half of the pair that's missing each other. Yangs wear gains resistance to white damage, however, the two cannot. No benefits are transferred. Why do I... I'm pretty sure this is another one of those things where you want to keep away from each other. 
Is something going to happen if this character walks by here? Because I got a feeling something bad's going to happen. Prevent. I've done a big, complete goof. I've made the big mistake. Duff. Uh, what well, just happened? So, they managed to combine... Something flew across the screen, I wasn't sure I was able to, I'm not, wasn't really able to identify it. And now, because of that, aside from... No, ignoring nothing there breaking out, I have one, two, three, four... Five... Six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, dead and 13, dead and full beast. 20, God again. I'm just trying to count it out in my head, like, how, how long the employee can get away with, with wearing it. Half of a pair that's missing each other.
Okay, let's see what's new. It reduces the mental damage the wearer has to bear because this is called the Angel's Penny. Periodically heals the wearer's SP. Wait. When it's not found in a facility, you know benefits were transferred. I know that's referring to Yin down here, but I'm not sure I understand, like, no bit. What does it mean, no benefits were transferred? What's being transferred? They have the Knight of Despair back. I do like her, her, um, her, her, um, her design, like, still kind of weird that, like, It's still kind of weird how sometimes, like, like the art style is like more real, leaning more towards the realistic side, I mean, regardless of whether or not like, you're looking at the in-game model like this, or if you're looking at, at like the little portrait here. But on the other side, you, you, you have more cartoony-looking characters or so that have like that may. You have like, then uh, then you go to the other side of the spectrum, and you have more or cartoony looking characters like the Queen of Hatred that that look cartoony both in game I mean, and look cartoony in their um, portrait. And you have some characters in the middle where like the Child of the Galaxy, where looking. Looking at his character model here, kind of looks cartoony. At least those big, huge eyes that he's crying with kind of give the impression of, of um, cartooniness. Like the over exaggerated huge eyes, like give extra, like, to impress on you better the emotions, you know. But then when you look at his profile, his profile is kind of more realistic. Of like a more realistic-ish art style. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining about like, I'm, don't mistake me for being urgh, It's inconsistent. I did not mean that. I'm just like, I'm just noticing that like, it seems the game still looks really good. But overall, regardless of how cartoony or realistic it is, but like. What I'm just saying, it seems like it's not a. The game's not afraid to be like both. Who's at the same time to an extent, which. Which I kind of think, in a way, he adds to it, you know? So, art style and game, like. A game can always be improved by art style oh, and uh, oh, and uh, story. Good story and good art style can always make a good game better. Or by, but sometimes, like it depends on the game. But like sometimes you can like. Uh, how do I face this? Like. I know, like, the most important thing in, in a game for me is the gameplay. I mean, the gameplay comes first, because, like, I'm not sure how to phrase this, so, so, oh, or if I'm even able to articulate properly, but, like, well, like, sometimes, like, Sometimes you can forgive a 
regardless of how good or bad a game's um, story is, if the core gameplay isn't that good, everything else is going to crumble. Like, the main gameplay is the foundation for a game. Like, there's going to be a point where people are not going to want to put up with... People don't want to put up with, like... If they don't like the gameplay, I don't want to be like, oh, a bad gameplay. People are like... They're trying to make it sound objective, but like... Subjectively speaking, from, per from my own opinion, there's, a, I think there's like a limit to which people, you could have the best story in the world and people aren't going to want to experience it if the gameplay isn't good enough. Because like, because like, like being a game designer, you want people Play the game for the gameplay, you know? You could have... You could have the best game in the world. Or, not the best game, I mean... You could tell the best story in the world. But how much does that mean? How much merit does that hold? If... People would rather watch your cutscene, watch your game in YouTube Let's Plays, or YouTube cutscene compilations, instead of getting the game and playing the game themselves, you know? You could be happy that people are experiencing it at all, even if it's just them watching YouTube videos of it, but like, But like, how much can you really succeed if people don't want to play your gameplay for the game itself? Like, I guess that's like, you know like, the entire, like, I don't know how to phrase it or so, and I'm afraid that like, people might take offense but like, the whole like, quote, the, the genre of of, of like what's referred to as walking simulators, I guess I like, or what happened is when like people prioritize like telling the story above making it interesting in gameplay. Like the Like, I think I remember, I don't remember what the game was called, but I think there was, like, a game or so that got that criticized for, well, first of all, it was a quote-unquote walking simulator that focused on, or it was one of those games that focused on, on telling a story to the extent of where it was mainly just, like, walking around a house and I was exploring things, and it was like, had all the tropes and, and stuff that you associate with the walking simulators. You know, you walk around, own a building or an area, and you pick up stuff and like rotate it around to look at it. And your character will, and your character will stand there and, and like comment on it and talk about it. And that's basically the extent of the gameplay. You basically interact with or look at an object and, and your character comments on it. it and like the story basically builds, builds on from like what the character has to say about this or that or so on I think a part of like what it um I think a part of some reasons why walking simulators get criticized so heavily is a combination of factors such as like, you know, 
Like, it, it focuses so much on trying to tell a story that it, like, sacrifices gameplay to the point of having very minimal gameplay be, like, control or so. Oh, and, um... And, like, when people often, like... Of course, there's, like, plenty of games out there that people will play just for, like, relaxing and kicking back and having fun, like Animal Crossing. But a lot of the time, I mean, people like playing games because they, they, to some degree or another, like a challenge. And these walking simulator-type games, like, just don't... Don't provide a, the challenge that people seek when, like, the main gameplay is just walking around or interacting with objects to have the character or tell people's story based on, like, what memories the what memories or so the the I you know makes the character inspires the character to. Call, you know, walk, walk through a room, pick up object. Character talks about memories that the object reminds them of. Put down object, and find another object to interact with. Like when that's the extent end of the gameplay, people don't feel challenged. I guess. Oh right, I forgot, I thought there were like, I thought there were like four people in there and I messed up somewhere, but like, I forgot like being, being blessed with the Knight of Despair's little blessing takes the, takes the character out of rotation for, for working with other abnormalities, my mistake there. But anyway... Be like, I guess that's my thoughts on the walking simulator thing. Like, it's just they sacrifice game. Oh yeah, like one game that I think I remember hearing the game got criticized. These are some was one of the little games. Where, I don't remember what the game was called, but the the plot was basically a long spoiler alert. It's for well, I don't remember the the game, but spoiler alert. I guess, um, the plot was along the lines of, like, like, some, a woman's, like, trying to, to explore her old childhood home, um, to, um, to try and discover what happened to her, to her younger sister, and, Apparently, according to the, I didn't see it, but like apparently, according to the trailer, the trailer kind of got people convinced that like um, watching the train, watching this, the trailer kind of got people convinced that like the plot was along the lines of like the sister disappeared due to supernatural means, means or so. Oh, and the older sister's like looking to to go find what happened to her, but it, but it turns out that like what happened to the to the main character's younger sister is that it, um is that spoiler alert turns out the younger sister was what happened to the younger sister was nothing supernatural. What happened to her was that. She turned out she was like a lesbian or so, and had a girlfriend, but, and, and it was like the usual story from there. Like she came out of a, as a lesbian with a girlfriend or so, who her parents disowned her over that, it, and then she ran away from the family to be with her girlfriend. And, and that was like the whole plot twist of what happened to and that was like the whole plot twist of what happened to the main character's sister. But 
But some people were like... I, pe I think I remember the game cr getting criticized because they were expecting... They were expecting something supernatural or so. Or like some kind of ghost or demon or something. I don't know, something supernatural along those lines. And it just turned out, oh, she ran away to be with her girlfriend. People were, like, disappointed by it, so... Still, like, overall, like... Like, my opinion is that... I'm, I'll never be against a game having a good fly or so, but like at the same time, if I just want to go into something exclusively for the story, I'd rather read a book or watch a movie or TV show or so at that point. I'll always support a game having being good. Having a good story and good graphics. But at the same time, it's like. like I almost kind of want to say. Like, if you prioritize. He's like. I almost, but like, want to say something along the lines of like. If you're playing a game for the wrong reasons if, like, if you prioritize gameplay, <laughs> like, story or art style about the gameplay or something, but... I, but that, I don't want... I don't want to, like, say something like that and they come off as, like... Uh, I, I... I don't want to say something like that and they come off as sounding like I'm crapping on... Unlike what other people do and don't want to... I don't want to say that and something like that and give the impression that I'm like crapping on people for like what they do and don't like about a game. Like, like I'm sure there are plenty of people who like games new stories or so, but like... I don't want to come off as like crapping on them because it's hurt the dirt. Or my opinion is fact or some dumb thing like that. I apologize if I went like spent a lot of time in this section of the video like going on a long spiel about that. Just something I wanted to say, you know, just like. All the power to people who do like a video game story, so but like I get, I guess like that kind of makes me think of something else. Like, like a lot of people talk about reminds me of like people talking about like how and why it's so hard for video game plots to translate into movies because like. Because it's like really difficult for people to tr I think the fairest point it seems that like the reason why so many video game movies suck is because like or otherwise like not up to par is because like is because of like it's hard to translate something between like different mediums or so like video games are just a completely different medium from movies. Like, I've been hearing about how Nintendo's, like, working with Illumination to make some kind of Mario movie. 
And while it's good that like Nintendo themselves are working on it with them to ensure the best quality, but like how much of a story can you get about a guy who jumps on turtles and mushrooms, walking mushrooms to save a princess, you know? Flashing bird is so harmless that can we can we even argue that the beast ever left? I mean, yeah, he goes and attacks me like this, but look, he does like one point of damage at the most as long as you leave him alone. There's not a problem. armor because he he's one of the few like non-escaping abnormalities and because he's like he's one of, he doesn't escape or so so it's harmless to like leave him alone and ignore him and that is I like being able to have access to his armor or at least have the potential to get his armor or weapon without having to I don't know. But I don't interact with him because I don't like how he basically screws over your ability to do the attachment work. Because I'm sure you're But like, how did I miss that? I'm looking and I see this guy flashing and this guy flashing. How do I miss this? How do I miss that? <sighs> I think I'm going to end this episode here. I feel like I we haven't done much this episode, but at least we got to check out a new abnormality. So, and wait, hold on. The third time in a row, it almost crashes on the loading screen. I am definitely going to. Look back at the footage and see if it's like I have to see that or if it's just on my end. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Lama Corporation, and we at least got to see a unique interaction between the Yin and Yang or so. So thank you for watching. You know what the comment section is, and you know I appreciate the comment. And so thanks again, and until next time, I'll see you guys around.